This video was brought to you by Surfshark VPN. More info and a great deal later. Well, hello everyone, Dan Herr with Dan Herr Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. As you may know if you follow my channel, I'm all about treasure hunting. Mostly gold, sometimes gems, other sort of rocks. Today, I am finding treasure in a hundred million year old rocks. We're going to be breaking rocks, opening them up, and seeing if we can find some treasures inside. Wish me luck, and I hope you enjoy. This is the deposit here. So we're standing on a giant shale bed here. And as you can see, this is what we'll be looking for the fossils in, in the different layers here. Excellent. And these are mostly troglobite fossils? Trilobite. Trilobite. <laughs> Tro troglodytes are. Troglodytes. Trilobites. Yeah, um, so trilobites... Mikey's are... laughing at me! <laughs> trilobites were an underwater uh, crustacean and uh, they were like uh, the little basement pill bugs that you see scurrying around in the dark in your basement there. Except they lived in oceans uh, 100 to 300 million years ago. So hopefully uh, we can unveil some that have been sleeping in the rock for the last 100 million years. Nice. Thank you, Braden, for bringing me up here. I look forward to seeing what we can find today. Now, when Mike and Braden uh, invited me out to do some fossil hunting for these troglodytes, trilobites, trilobites for these trilobites, um, I know there's rules here. There's laws here in BC about fossil hunting. So I went and did a little bit of research to make sure we weren't breaking any laws. And after reading the government websites, we are 100% legal to be doing this right here. And there are some rules. You can't sell these things. You have to report significant fines to the government, all that kind of stuff. But for these little guys, we're fine. We're fine. Totally Other than a little bit of cold fingers. Well, that's a lot of pyrite on that one. I broke it open and it's just pyrite. We're not looking for pyrite. I know. As Dave would say, I'm the pyrite king. <laughs> yeah. Now I have had lots of comments in my previous videos about me hammering on rocks without proper eye protection on, so you'll notice today I actually put proper eye protection on just to keep those people happy and to keep my eyes safe, of course. So in Mikey's first rock, he found the first evidence of a head. It's not a complete one yet, but first rock, first fossil. There's a little one right there too, a couple little ones. Ooh, we'll find much better though. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So this pile of shale that we're working through is blasted out somewhere else and shipped in here to make this great big berm of some sort. So uh, we're not exactly sure where it comes from and all the rocks that we're dealing with are all fairly small. We don't get to deal with really big boulders to split open or anything like that. But small rocks does make it a little bit easier to work with. We just have less options of what we can split open. What a beautiful frosty October day. Winter is definitely upon us. Time for the beard to freeze up every day. Mikey's killing it. Look at this, he's found three already. Braden and I haven't found one yet. Not even one. Not even one. So there's my first one. This is just the head of a trilobite. There we go. Hey. Good one, man. This is just the head of a trilobite. And it's not perfect, it's not full body, but it's my first one, so I'm happy. That rock was like that. Good whack with the hammer. Popped it open, along its seam, and there we go. We don't know what fossil this is, but this is a fossil of an unknown creature. Some kind of soft body organism, definitely. Yeah, something that got squished between the rocks. Well, between the mud layers when these farmed and got fossilized. Kind of cool. 
If you're a fossil guy and know what this is, leave a comment below. Uh-oh, we got something good by the sounds of it. So I just cracked this open. Oh, nice. Look how perfect that little guy yeah. is. That's a cool one. Ooh, let's get the close up for that. Braden found a nice full one. That's beautiful. It's a small guy, but still really nice. This is looking good. It's already got a split going down, so it's gonna go easy. Yeah. Oh, I'm splitting in a different spot. Oh, it's splitting all over the place. If there's anything yeah. in this, there's gonna be lots of them. Okay. There's the main plate. Really? Oh yeah. One little guy. Yeah. Oh, I see Another a little guy. Yeah, I see a few impressions there. These are yeah. two heads, so that's a see the trilobite the head. Okay. As they molt off their outer skin, they drop these behind. So this isn't the animal itself, it's just what it's left behind. Like a snake molting its skin. Put that one on top oh yeah. Another nice one. Wow. That's this is gonna be a nice that, plate. That, oh, that, that piece plate. is loose. Loose. I'm gonna get a lot of little like these. Yeah. yeah. I'll put that in the bucket there. Yep. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, even this one here that you had first found, you can see here up at the corner very briefly. Uh, it actually pins off to like a whisker here, kind of. So you can kind of see the point just goes like that. But when you find them really nice, all, they'll have these spines coming off the side of their heads there. Very cool. Very cool. In the bucket. In the bucket, she goes. Go for it. All right. Oh, there's a bunch there, actually. Like a graveyard. A water bug graveyard. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. That's a nice one. And this rock actually has other remnants of things all around it, too. But that's and it's just the head, right? Yeah, just the head on this one here. So when they molt, they actually roll and come out the back. So usually they come in two pieces the head and then the thorax and the tail section when they molt. Nothing. There we go. A little guy and a big guy. What a Oh yeah. Alright. Yeah. The very red rocks that have all this pyrite mineralization that's staining our gloves. <laughs> it didn't actually hurt, did it? No. <laughs> it scared me. Oh, my heart. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what did you say? The look on your face was so serious. I was like, oh, did I just fuck up? <laughs> I was confused. What just happened? <laughs> so, we're looking for the rusty rocks. And inside those rusty rocks, there might be fossils. We found a lot of really good ones. Dan's found the best one, a really Whoa. nice big plate. He's got, this, he's got this really big one there to break open. I bet there's something in that. It's, it's, like, it's not much, but. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see on the back. Oh, the back of that looks real nice. Yeah. That's, the, that's the good layer right there. Heavy mortality layer. Uh -huh. Look what I found. Oh, oh buddy. he's got a good one. Perseverance and dedication to the cause. Paying off. I found a cute little guy. Cute little guy. Or at least his head. 
decapitated. Go All for right. it. So I flipped this big one out and uh, gave it a nice tap here. And then when it fell. Wow. Wow. That's right in the mudstone too. Those are great. And there's lots of them. Yeah. Then there, one there, one over here, one up there. found lots of heads of the trilobites today, but there's one of the bodies. Put them together and you have the full creature. That is really what you will hope to find in a fossil, is one that has the body and head together, giving the whole thing. That would be a showpiece. But this one, the body. So I just found something that made this guy here swear a blue streak <laughs> 10 minutes long. Uh, it was unbelievable. I. I, in all my fossil hunting, have not seen anything come out like this by any amateur prospector fossil hunter in a long time. Uh, I'll let Dan show you here. So, this fell on my lap as I was basically pulling rocks out of the hole. And that, that is a huge trilobite. Or troglodyte. Trilobite. That is a huge trilobite. Huge. Says the troglodyte. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have and to find out exactly what species. I it is. see on the rock where I pulled this from, still, still in place. I can't actually move this yet. The other half of that. Well, there we go. We got her out. Nice. Now to go see if the other part of this rock is still hidden back in there. Maybe has a head on it. That would be cool. So we're building a big puzzle here. The great big fossil we got, we ended up finding a piece that matched the rock over here. Then we dug around and found the other piece that matched the rock over there. And when we put them together perfectly, we see the layer where we need to split this to see if the head of this trilobite is in that rock. Geometry at its finest. So we don't know if we got the right layer because the layers in this stuff is are fairly thin, but we think that's about the right height. We have not. Want to do the honors there, Ring? Yeah. We have not looked yet. There it is. Oh. There's the rest of it. You found the head? Yeah. Oh, buddy. It's not a head though, is it? It's just no, more of the ribs. It's more of the ribs. It could have been folded down more into oh, this layer yeah. here. It might be oh, yeah, folded his head, down. His head would have been. This is this is curled. This is the body section. Of yeah, the this head. might be. That's so cool. I love the fact that we found that. Well, we ended up finding one big fossil at this layer, and we have more rock from that layer. Maybe there's more to be found. Let's keep hunting. So while we've been digging here, finding all these fossils, uh, trilobites, uh, Mike and Braden have been explaining all sorts of neat facts. The fact that trilobites were the first creatures to have two eyes that so they could see 3D views. Uh, the fact that they, the way they molt, what the names of all the parts and pieces we're finding are, all sorts of information these two have. I'm just having fun collecting them. Really neat to see. I've got a couple of real nice specimens. They want to send me home with a whole bucket full of them. I just want a few good ones to put on the display shelf but I've been having a lot of fun here. A different type of treasure, for sure. It's not gold, it's not gemstones, but you know, it's still rock. You got 100 million year old creatures that you are the first person to see, to expose the light again. Uh, just amazing and so much fun. And we have so many perfect samples here. Never did find the one that had the head and body together, but that's pretty rare on this site. And we even found a few other interesting creatures along the way. I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys for inviting me out here. This Anytime, is awesome. Anytime, Dan. So much fun. As a gold miner and YouTuber, security is very important to me. So now let's talk about our sponsor, Surfshark VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, a way to keep your online data and presence safe and secure. Surfshark 
is fast and easy to use. It lets you overcome location-based discrimination, like if you want to watch Netflix while you're traveling or access other locations of Netflix that might have better content libraries. But most importantly, it makes you and your data invisible to the internet and nefarious people and activities out there. No one can mine your data or identity. No one can log where you've been or what you've been browsing. And now for the deal I talked about. Right now, if you visit surfshark.deals slash herd and enter the deals code herd, you will receive 83% off and three months for free. Try Surfshark and keep your online life safe and secure. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave me that like, share it, subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully I earned your subscription today. I have to say a real big thanks to my patrons out there. I could not make these weekly episodes of Dan Hurd Prospecting if it weren't for my patrons. So if you are a patron, thank you so much. If you'd like to learn more about how you can support my channel, head off to www.patreon.com slash danherd. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And until the next one, everyone. Bye.